Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more Moonlight Pro League. This is going to be a fantastic match. All right, we have Motive, one of the strongest Protoss players right now. Up and coming still, so I don't want to say like at the very tip top, like he's not quite in ASL. But I think he's going to be an ASL regular in the next year to two. Uh, but definitely been doing very well in his matches. And in the bottom right, we have someone who has become pretty much an ASL regular in Barracks. Uh, honestly, like, Barracks has done... Yeah, I guess he's technically done better than Motive overall. Uh, but I actually am kind of leaning towards Motive taking this. Just I, I, I've casted a lot of Motive's games lately and uh, seen quite a few. And he's just he's playing very well recently. Uh, all that being said... Uh, again, thank you to Nyokin for covering for me for a couple games this, this past week. Do appreciate it. Been pretty under the weather. Feeling a bit better here today, though. Um, but yeah, guys, I actually, I have something I want to mention before we really get into this. Now, I checked, and 48% of people who watch videos on Artosis Casts are not subscribed to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel okay it, i work really really hard on this channel <laughs> i put a ton of time and effort into it and i do appreciate all of you who do subscribe and click that notification button and and uh yeah i, I mean i've never missed a day even when i was incredibly sick and <laughs> i luckily got nyokin to do two for me so there are two days on artosis cast that are not artosis but other than that it's it's over eight months of solid content but Anyways, uh, thank you much for watching. Either way, and please hit that subscribe button. Now, uh, we got to mention this build. He just got a 237 gas. So that's a very quick gas that we're seeing. Uh, there is definitely... Uh, people are trying to optimize their builds quite a bit right now to get quicker factories up. Now, this is a cross-spawn nexus first from Motive. So even if he gets his factory up quickly, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble still. Now... Watch this. Let's see exactly when he gets his factory. Yeah, there's the factory and there's the depot. So that is a beautifully quick factory at like a 228. That is about 7 to 10 seconds faster than you normally get it. And that's just by really optimized mining. So fantastically done here uh, from Barracks. Gets it about as quickly as you can. Now he's doing the end scout. So he's going to scout very late that it's Nexus first. And again... It's not likely that he can punish it. Like, there's a possibility that we see some mistakes uh, from motive that allows him to do that afterwards. But yeah, in these spawns, it is very difficult to rush across the map. Which, by the way, I didn't even mention. It is Fighting Spirit, right? So one of our oldest, kind of crappiest maps. But, you know, one people generally tend to like because it's so comfortable. Everyone's played it a million times. Uh, anyways, the SCV going up the map right now. He barely checked into the natural. So I think he's just kind of read this correctly that uh, he's most likely here in the top left. SCV going to be poking up here. And he's going to see this pylon and then the Nexus. So, of course, that is not a fun thing to end up fighting. Oh, he's making more Marines. He is going to rush. Okay, there's that second Vulture. Oh, this will be interesting. Like, how many SCVs is he going to send? Let's see. Okay, eight. So that's the standard. Now, um, I'm a little bit nervous for him. It is technically doable, okay? I talk about this a lot, about how in close spawns, you will always do this build if you're doing factory expansion. Uh, because you get there much quicker, uh, and you rally every unit quicker, right? But cross spawn is generally like up to 10 seconds longer. Uh, to get there. So it, it makes a, a big, big difference. Like, it, And the thing is, different maps have different lengths and everything. Fighting Spear, I'm trying to remember. Maybe it's like seven seconds longer, but it makes a huge difference when every single unit gets there that much later. But anyways, he gets in here right now, uh, and there's a shield battery already, which makes it a little bit harder. He is making a bunker. The bunker is not actually in range of the Nexus, I believe. So that could be a bit of a problem as well. He is killing a lot of probes right now. This is actually fantastic micro coming out of barracks, I have to say. And he does load up that bunker. Okay, so the bunker, I mean, he's going to be able to kill this. He's going to be able to kill this. Those are no problem. But again, I don't believe that this is actually in range of the uh, Nexus. 
So that's a gigantic problem. I do not like this position at all uh, for, for barracks. Right? That's... That's not enough. He doesn't have anything really going at home. Okay, he's making a siege tank. Okay, he's just gonna push. I don't think so. Yeah. No, didn't think so. <laughs> like, I understand the desperation. Uh, I So he has a siege tank that's making, right? So he can bring the siege tank across, and if he lays mines... Okay, he actually... Okay, I think what... Yeah, okay, now I understand. What we're going to see from here, and this is really the only follow-up you have after a failed bunker rush on a Nexus, the follow-up should be one factory, one barracks, non-stop production into a siege tank push. Um, now these vultures going to find that probe. Trying to come out to expand? And yeah, you can kind of see as well, like that was that was a lot harder to bust than normal, even with the quicker factory. I, I guarantee you, uh, if Motive had been here or here, the Nexus would have gone down with the level of micro uh, in the build order that Barracks was showing. Either way, the Seed Shank coming up, and I mean, you gotta be careful. You lose a Seed Shank here when you're on one factory, you're basically done. Okay. So the mine hits, that really softens some of the goons. Don't forget, he does have a couple up here as well. Looks like Motive right now getting ready to take another base. And Barracks is taking his own. But that SCV count, like, look, it's about halfway done. SCVs are down by about four right now. I guess he'll technically get this probe. And, well, Motive probably going to run into the mine. Oh, does actually micro back and hits it. Very nicely done. The Vulture is going to escape here as well. We do have uh, the observatory done, so we should be seeing uh, an observer come out to clear some of these mines as well. But it seems like uh, just completely safe now for for motive. Barracks over here. Okay, so he's got like an armory that just started plus one. He is getting siege mode. He's getting a fine amount of siege tanks. Like he has enough units, he's not going to die or anything. I thought he would commit with the push. Because what I'm looking at is he's going to just kind of get outpaced with what's going on. And Motive is basically playing this perfectly. Uh, he's taking his third Nexus rather quickly. He got Observers first, which is kind of safe. And he's going into Reaver. So basically, Reaver will uh, do multiple things for him here. It'll force uh, Barracks to kind of just defend against Reaver, right? Like, probably make several missile turrets. Make some turrets here, maybe even make one here, make some down here. You know, it's it's a big area uh, to stop that. Also, just having the shuttle tech with the Reaver, and you're going to slow them like they can't attack, right? It, even if he adds like three, four facts here, he literally won't be able to attack across the map because the Reaver will slow him down so much. Uh, also, you can kind of hold their expansion here by putting the Reavers up the ramp. It's incredibly hard to push up there. And that's what Barracks' is plan is. This is actually brilliant, okay? Because I'm not, like, I'm really not joking about my analysis of, on this situation, how it's really bad. If you try a, a Nexus bust and it doesn't work, you're incredibly far behind. Uh, and he is getting outpaced. But he's hiding a command center, which is actually pretty brilliant. Because, like I mentioned, the Reaver is going to cause all these problems for him. But the fact that this is hidden, if this doesn't get found for a while... If this doesn't get found and, uh, you know, Barracks gets up to, like, 150 supply, then he can actually push out onto the map and maybe, like, hold on to this long term. And then suddenly this base is free and this base is free. So that would be gigantic. That would be Barracks suddenly pulling the wool over the eyes here of uh, <laughs> of Motive. I love the idea. Now, a couple more Barracks or a couple more gates coming up. Forge plus Citadel. Reavers popping out. That shuttle speed is on the way, of course. Has his second gas. And it looks like we are going to get a fourth base started here. Pretty standard stuff. In fact, he's sending a probe to this base uh, as his his fifth, it's looking like. Just to kind of get it ready. And there's really no reason not to. He's almost to the point where he can actually throw that Nexus down. But I would say not quite yet. you got to macro for a little bit off the four Nexus. Now, Starport coming up. He wants to keep his upgrades going. Starport is just a little bit late compared to that plus one, but he was being sneaky with the Varric, so makes sense. 
Got to keep these uh, SCVs producing and get them out mining because you can't transfer SCVs in this type of position. A few Speed Vultures trying to run by, but Motive already kind of has everything clogged up. This is one of the harder things about Fighting Spirit, right? You make a little wall on this ramp. Then you kind of sit goons here, and you're basically safe against harassment, right? The only other thing that can happen is dropship. And these are pretty compact, so it's not too hard to stop that either. Okay, Templar Archives as well as Stargate. So we are going to be going into Arbiters here for Motive. What did I just hear? Oh, the Reaver came in. Okay, so yeah, I just heard a Zealot blow up. All right, going to fly out over the turret. Okay. Pretty badly hurt and, of course, does veer up. There would be no reason to ever go to that bottom left. So funny to watch this make such an impact, too. Like, look, he's already got six SCVs mining here. This is no joke what he's getting from this base. And right now, if you're looking at this as motive, you're like, oh, this game is so easy. Like, I, I've i got him. Because uh, I think it is hard to read that there's a, a hidden base right now, for sure. Because this could just be what it looks like after the failed rush. Uh, you know, a lot of times, Terrans just kind of go all in after that, like I mentioned. So, yeah. it's uh, it's uh, It might not be a position that motive is looking at very often. Okay, a lot of Dragoons coming down. I think he's uh, feeling like we're going to want a repositioning of this army. He's definitely right about that. Look at that. A ton of goons walking down. He is up 28 supply right now. And the Reaver's going exactly where I was talking about, right? This is why it's really hard to take a third base. The Reavers have less range than Sea Chank, yes. But they're so mobile up here and they can just pull back. So you have to like leapfrog a hundred times and then you have to even go up the ramp leapfrogging right very very annoying against the reavers up here so you do the drop harassment first which forces the turrets let's see how many made one two three four and that's against the speed shuttle he should have he, like he's playing risky here only having four uh but yeah and now getting into this position so smart stuff uh-oh uh-oh here come the dragoons okay so he did get found out but he got up to 10 scvs and so that's a lot of binding uh he sends the command center to the north because why not um it doesn't really do much for him to try to fly out this way the dragoons would just kill it anyways and he might have yeah like the the vulture coming up here and clearing this may have played something into that as well i wonder i wonder about that Okay, anyways, uh, we do have the move out now from Barracks. The base helped him a little bit, but not enough. He's definitely very far behind still. The Reaver's going to slow this push. You got to leapfrog slowly but surely here. I love the leading with the Marine. That does not matter. Let it die. Oh, and he actually snipes the shuttle, so he will get the kill there. Oh, another shuttle coming in. Oh, my God. The splash damage here from the Seed Shanks onto themselves against those zealots very very painful indeed dragoons going to pull back for now still macroing out heavily here going up to another factory so six fact production right now from barracks gonna start floating over his command center yeah this command center uh figuring out that there's not one but two cannons at that nine o'clock base just speed shuttles and goons right now those speed lots we do have an Arbiter on the way, as well as the Recall spell. Okay, so we have about two minutes until a Recall, just to make that clear. An Arbiter is already out. And he is getting that Recall first, which is always interesting. Well, maybe he got this day, so I wasn't looking. But another attack in here. Oh, God. A, looks like actually not the greatest attack here from Motive. Good targeting from Barracks. That could have been much, much worse. If he just let the game decide where to shoot, he probably would have lost his entire army there. But instead... He basically slaughtered the army of Motive, so definitely a little bit sloppy. We do have 2-1 done here as well for Barracks. Gets this base up. Very, very, very important. 3-2 uh, not started as of yet. Recall upgrade almost done. Arbiter coming down the map. That rests on the army. See also Observer Speed, Second Forge coming up. Already has his plus one. And, yeah, it looks like he's going to fall back very defensively here. Brings his uh, vessel down as well. Okay, the Goliath's coming in, kind of pushing this back a little bit. It's going to be hard to keep this base alive, though, right? Because you have a bigger economy by a, a lot right now as motive. 
And specifically on Fighting Spirit, it's really powerful to recall the third bases for Terran. It's very clumped up, so you basically always, if you recall the units, like kill all the SCVs at minimum, but maybe get a command center as well. And it's very hard to clean up as well, going up the small ramp. So I think that could be a very strong move coming up. But attacking to the front, probably not. That's not what you want to do. Okay, he just clears the turret and backs up. Loses some goons for it. A little bit sloppy here from Motive once again. The command center has been flying around on fire, trying to figure out what to do. I'm not sure if it's going to gain him any more value this game, unfortunately. Really heavy SCV saturation everywhere. Uh, definitely needs to send some more over to this base. Big group of speed vultures actually going up to 12 o'clock. Ooh, this is very nice. He only has one cannon here for defense, so can't end up killing all those. And there's that recall I was talking about as well. Missed it going in, but you basically, like, it was, recalls always, always, always work on these third bases. Uh, so a very good move here from, from Motive, playing the map quite a bit. Trying to target down this command center. And might actually end up getting it here. Looks like in the meantime, he lost all the probes at this 12 o'clock base. So at least that is some counter damage. You see a huge SCV compared to probe advantage, but no mineral patches to actually mine from. So, and he's actually producing SCVs. Oh, they're over here. <laughs> Man, he definitely, he definitely just needs to be able to sense them over at this point, I would say. Great EMP goes down. Trying to target down this shuttle. Okay, this friendly fire uh, splash damage there. Going to kill one of his own tanks. Mines connecting with this army. I gotta say, I think Barracks is putting out like a beautiful game considering what a train wreck his early game was. He's made a lot of fantastic moves here. Several lagoons being splattered as they pull back. Three two upgrades are on the way. Two one here for uh for motive. Producing 12 zealots at a time as we see, two arbiters at a time as well. That stacking of Arbiters is going to be something very difficult to deal with. You saw, right, that recall. It's been minutes now, and he does not have this base back up and mining yet. So that is just something that can happen over and over when you have a ton of bases as Protoss. Of course, he does have to refill that probe count, get them saturated, pushed out to the different bases as well. Now here comes the Arbiter army. Good spread of siege tanks right now. All right, well, the probes scout what's going on over here. Zealot's heading down to try to attack, but of course the Vulture's way on top of that. We'll stop that immediately. The rest of the army looks like it's rotating a little bit. Okay, decides to turn around. Vulture's come up the ramp now. Looks like he wanted to dive on that DT. Does get pulled back very quickly. Bunch of cannons with more being made. Doesn't want to lose that base to pure Vulture. So definitely a good choice to add the cannons. All right, here we go. Pushing in now. The observers spotting these mines. The Dragoons starting to clear. Okay, here we go. The Zolts start to flood in. And EMP goes out. And actually, it's both Arbiters. Fantastically done. As good as he can hope for. But there are so many Zolts in here. Pulls those Vultures back. Needs to be targeting these, these onto the Dragoons. But having such a hard time against a gigantic army here of Motive. Look, I mean, a lot of this extra supply that we have is actually... Uh, in SCVs. He's up 20 workers right now. So even though he's down 20 supply, he's actually down 40 army supply. Definitely a bit of a problem. Now, looks like Motive sent a group of zealots down to the 6 o'clock base. Try to clear that out a little bit. And now going after this other location. Oh, Barracks in so much trouble. The other natural being taken. Already photon cannons up. Looks like he's sending a zealot up here to clear the main so he can expand there as well. Motive going to start just making mass nexuses now, and it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot Barracks can do against that. Having a hard time even holding on and mining from anywhere for any period of time now. I feel like one more move from Motive, one more strong move is going to spell disaster for Barracks. Like, he's already pretty dead. Okay, he's floating the command center. He's trying to get two bases once. Notice there's actually nothing between this army and this base. That is how spread thin uh, poor poor Barracks is right now. Look at this. Oh, God. There's, there's a pylon up here, so he sees and knows what's going on. Looks like this army going to go for a counter stab here. Honestly, killing this base, that's pretty much game. 
And these vultures obviously can't stop Mass Dragoon Arbiter coming up. Yeah, the vessel comes up. Does not matter. This army going to be way, way, way too strong. You basically need your whole army here as Terran to have a chance to hold on. Another vessel coming up. Oh, gets sniped down. Another vessel coming up. Oh, another vessel sniped. Okay, a good defense matrix. And it's... Uh, that's it. GG. Motive takes him down.